So, anyway, we've been having our say about you all week. Now the floor is yours. I get to say some things. Wow, what a ride. 32 years here at News Center Maine. Time flies when you are having fun. And I sure have. The friendships and laughter I have experienced here will last me a lifetime. Of course, news can be really tough. We are very fortunate in Maine that our newscasts are not dominated by crime, which allows us to focus on issues and to share people's stories. And that has been such a privilege to share in your joy and even cry with you in hard times. You know, we have been through a lot in the last two years. We've struggled and we've done it together, but we are also really divided. Sorry. I knew, I knew I was going to cry, <laughs> but I really do believe that we're at a critical point in our history. Truth is under assault. I honestly do not know how we come together if people can't decipher what is fact and what is fiction. So I implore you not to believe everything you read online or you hear from news talk people who clearly seek to incite. There is so much misinformation out there, and my hope is that you seek out truth and you do that through reputable news sources like the one I've been involved with my entire adult life. You know, I do feel like the luckiest woman in the world to have worked here with these incredibly dedicated, talented people from whom I have learned so much and who will continue to carry this mantle. I am so blessed to have met so many amazing Maine people through the stories I've covered, people who have taught me not only about both sides of various issues, but also about life and what it means to be generous, because I am constantly amazed by the example you set. To my co-anchor and work husband, <laughs> Pat Callahan, I could not have asked for a kinder mentor and partner. We've been side by side here for 32 years. I believe that is a record in this business. And I have absolutely loved working with you. I arrived on this scene as a 25-year-old kid, wide-eyed, taken under wing by Pat, by Rob Caldwell, Don Kerrigan, longtime producer Ron Cormier, and many others who showed me what it means to be a journalist. I learned from the very best. And I also want to thank my husband, longtime co worker, and my best friend, Lee Nelson, because without his dedication to our family and to being a full partner in raising our two boys, even working crazy hours for 30 years so he could be home with the kids when I was working, this whole work life balance thing would never have been possible for me. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your love and your friendship. And I'm gonna poke my finger with a tack now. <laughs> to my sons, Xander and Noah, I could not be prouder of the men you have become. And last but not least. <laughs> they're, they're here to chauffeur you home. Hi and, or guys. out to dinner, I hope. Hi, guys. <laughs> Yeah, oh so, my so, wow, how's that for timing, huh? <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable timing. So, you know, 32 years is a long time, and we, you know, we were married when we started, but we didn't have any kids. People watched us have the kids, you know, and, and we had video of that. And so I just wanted a quick word from these guys who are all grown up now. Love you, Mom. So yeah. proud of you. <laughs> Congratulations, Mom. We love you. Oh, now come yeah. have fun in retirement, will you? And that's that. the best. And quickly to our viewers who've welcomed me to your home for three decades and given me your trust, I say thank you. I'm so grateful. That's New Center, Maine. Good night. Have a great night. Good night.